Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a donation unboxing video. And uh, this has been a long time coming. I usually do these unboxing videos once a month because you guys send me stuff every month. Uh, and you've continued to send things to me even though I haven't gotten to an unboxing video. So there's, there's quite a bit here, and some of this stuff has been waiting uh, for two months, three months, too long. Um, for this reason, I'm going to um, ask you to hold off on sending donations to uh, the channel um, uh, until I can get back to my usual routine of opening these things on camera so I can show the proper appreciation for them. Uh, these donations are extremely generous and you deserve to um, have that appreciation shown for what you send. So until I can do that, um, I don't want to keep getting stuff uh, and uh, taking donations when I can't show appreciation on camera for that. Really, it's just a matter of time and energy. Um, I have been doing really well, but then I, ch I changed jobs, and that is where my time and energy has been going. Um, I think things will settle down eventually and I'll be able to get back to my normal routine. But until then, um, uh, it, it's just, it's been difficult to get to uh, my usual videos. I've been way off uh, of my usual schedule. So I apologize for that and I will do my best to get back to it. For today's purposes, um, I am not going to uh, read aloud all of the letters that have been sent to me, and there are quite a few here. Um, I appreciate you sending letters. I appreciate everything that you send. Um, I will still open these and I will read these. I will not do that on camera though, um, and I will still be keeping them in my special fan mail envelope so i will never lose these i will have these with me forever thank you for taking the time to uh to write in to me that's very special and uh, i appreciate that very much um i'm just going to go through the boxes um there may be some letters inside the boxes um i will get uh, i will give those a, a quick a read to myself uh in case there's important information in those letters um but um uh, these boxes have been waiting uh, for quite a while, and I need to get to them. So I'm going to get to them right now. These are not in any particular order. Uh, in fact, I think this one is the most recent one, and I'm going to do this one because it's on top. Um, I've got coffee here. And um, I've already um, cut open... Um, each of them so uh, they should be all just ready to pull out and show you what's in them. Uh, so this one uh, is from Brandon Knight and I believe this is the most recent one that I got so we're um, kind of going in reverse order here but thank you Brandon um, and what Brandon has sent is slide that out right here uh, something in a comic book, um, and he's got a letter. Let me read this real quick. I wish I had gotten my uh, glasses. I didn't think of that. Oh, well. Uh, but he writes with um, a large enough uh, letters that I can read it. Uh, thank you, Brandon. Um, thank you for the letter, and thank you for this, which is... Let me show this. I don't have a remote on this camera, so I can't zoom it in. Uh, but this is... Uh, Marvel Comics Transformers Generation 2, which um, I guess includes G.I. Joe number 140, 141, 142. There was a crossover of Transformers into G.I. Joe, um, which um, uh, is, you know, I've, I've read that and... Um, uh, yeah, that, it was surprising to see Transformers and G.I. Joe. So thank you very much for this, Brandon. I will be keeping your letter uh, with the other letters, and I will never lose that, and uh, this is very much appreciated. Uh, I've, I've not read the actual Transformers Generation 2 comic book, um, but it's sealed, so 
I may I may get a reading copy. I don't want to open. I don't want to break the seal on this since this is something that that you have kept sealed for so long. So uh, thank you for that, Brendan. I'm going to um, move on to oops, move on to this one. And this one says uh, this person does not want uh, his or her name read um, or location in the video. So I will not share this person's name. Um, it looks like we have another uh, letter here. Let me read this really quick. Okay, uh, it's just people that want to keep their information private, which is totally fine. Read part two. Okay, all right. Uh, from a subscriber, thank you very much. Uh, and the main item is something that uh, he or she made his or herself. Okay, uh, all right. I think I got it. Um, and that person wanted to keep... Uh, their information private anyway, so um, that's not one that I would read on the air in any case. Um, but we've got, let's see what we got here. This, oh, look at this. Okay, check this out. This, these are parts for 12 inch figures, including, yes, a, uh, a battle helmet head for Cobra Commander, which um, I think will fit on my 12 inch Cobra Commander figure, as well as, oh, we can, look at this. This is a cape um, with gold, gold rope, which I can, I can make my 12 inch Cobra Commander um, a regal Cobra Commander with this. This is awesome. We've got some boots. With, uh, with Cobra on the soles, we've got a, a golden uh, pistol. Um, we've got, uh, is that a, yeah, a pistol in a holster. And let's see, there's another pistol. And we've got alternate hands. All right. So uh, yeah, and here we go, another another pistol uh, in a holster. So this could be used to turn Cobra Commander into a regal Cobra Commander, and that is awesome. I especially like the cape, uh, and that head looks awesome. Uh, so th th thank you, Anonymous, for this. There is more. And what we what we have here. These are, oh, I think I know what these are. All right. Um, let's see. Transformers Bot Bots. And we've got, yes, the, the paperwork for those. And uh, we've got, <laughs> this is perfect. We've got one that transforms into a, 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 a coffee maker here. At least, yeah, that's what it appears to be is a coffee maker. Um, that's appropriate since I am having coffee. Um, and then another one that looks like it transforms into a, 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 a slushy. Uh, that's awesome. A radioactive slushy. Uh, so th th that's cool. I've, I'm gonna have to play with these a bit. Um, I, I, um, I know, I mean, I've seen some but I, I don't know a whole lot about Transformers bot bots, um, but I think they are uh, adorable. Um, so thank you, Anonymous, for that. Oh, we've got Cobra Commander's briefcase with, uh, let's see, yeah, small Cobra emblem on it there. And let's see, and his uh, pistol and his uh, his dagger that's awesome if i can get it out it's like a, i got a ball and claw dagger that's so cool so that this can go with the uh, cobra commander custom we've got ooh we've got uh let's see th these are cobra logos small ones and we've got oh yeah toy hacks uh i know toy hacks uh we've got um 
Decepticon and Autobot, Autobot logos uh, through uh, Toy Hacks. Um, so, uh, some replica stickers there. Uh, we've got a tube of something. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Hey, this is, uh, I'm gonna, I want to reveal this uh, as I scroll it out. It is a wicked awesome picture of Zorana. That's cool. It's like, it's, it's in, like, it's slightly an anime style. It's like an anime Zorana. But really nice. Well done. Um, even got her, like, um, buzzsaw rifle sort of thing that she has. That's awesome. I, I do love good artwork, and this is really cool. Well, well done. Well done. Oh, didn't mean to snap it closed like that. There we go. I want to carefully roll it so that it remains undamaged. Um, and let's see. And then, ah, there we go. This is what the rest of the stuff goes with. Let me see, let me get this on. This is a Hall of Fame Cobra Commander. Well, it's, it's not exactly a Hall of Fame Cobra Commander. This is on a different body because we have, unlike the Hall of Fame figures, we have knees, we have elbows. This is nice. And I can, let's see. I get him to stand right there. I want to see if I can swap heads. Uh, yeah, stand there for just a second, Coco. Don't fall. So this is the hood, let's see, that goes with the Hall of Fame figure, the hooded head. And let's see, this should pop right on there, like so. Yes, perfect. So now we have Cobra Commander with his battle armor helmet. That is awesome. I'm going to have him sit right here. Um, and it also includes a stand, which is helpful. Um, Hall of Fame figures did have stands, but they're a little awkward. So there's a, a knife and a wicked staff. Check this out. That is... That is just so wicked awesome. And I think, I think that's it. So this is uh, an amazing custom, custom 12 inch Cobra Commander. Uh, just an amazing job. And I'm going to display this um, with my other 12 inch figures. Um, and I'll, I'm gonna set him up with his, uh, his um, regal custom uniform as you sent. So thank you Anonymous for that. Really awesome artwork, really awesome custom, and um, I'm going to be careful with these things so I don't lose them or damage them. Um, next, I'm going to do a smaller one. Uh, this one, which is from, uh, it says Stonegate um, Creations, and let's see, and we have a letter, let me pull that out first. Let me give this a quick read. Reading glasses would be handy, uh, but I didn't think to grab my reading glasses before we got started here. Um, let's see. Oh. Cool, all right. Uh, custom pieces. Hey, we are all about customs this time. And I love customs, that's awesome. Um, to enhance the original three and three quarter inch Baroness. Uh, hopefully have extra uh, figure to use these on. I think I do. Instructions are on the back side. I think Destro would approve of these mods. Thanks for great content. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Stone uh, Fred from Stonegate Productions. Um, let's see what we've got here. So this. Oh, I gotta. Let me cut that open. It's well packed, I will say. No chance of damage here. Won't get damaged in shipping. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Very well packed. Ah, ha, ha, oh, awesome. All right, now I really wish um, 
Yes. I really wish I had a zoom on this so I could show you. But this is a uh, Baroness chest piece uh, with a, that is bustier, uh, with a silver Cobra emblem. That looks awesome. That silver against the black is amazing. And then we've got a, a, a custom waist piece. So um, I think I have an extra Baroness and I'll um, swap out these parts and uh, customize our Baroness here. Yes, I, I agree with you. I think Destro would approve. Uh, so th thank you, um, Stonegate uh, Creations. Really cool. And uh, we are keeping up the theme of customized figures. That is awesome. Um, next, I'm going to take this one off the top here. Uh, this one, oh, hey, this one's from Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus, who we um, who talk to sometimes uh, in the uh, live stream. Uh, we've uh, Lazarus has been a friend of the channel for quite some time. Let me give this a quick uh, read to myself. Uh, yeah, thank you, Lazarus. And uh, it says right on here what is in the box. So if um, Oh, I, I wouldn't want to read that to, to spoil the surprise. Now, this is something that you should have some familiar with if you followed the live stream when I was doing live streams. This is, um, or these are, Find Your Fate books. These are the Find Your Fate books. Um, I've done these uh, live in the live stream before. Uh, this is usually fun. Uh, I don't have all of the Find Your Fate books, and I think, yes, these are all books that I did not already have. So, Lazarus, well done. Um, these are fun to do as a group activity, and this um, will maybe be an impetus to get back to the live streams. I really would like to do that. I miss the live streams. We've got Operation Terror Trap with, uh, with Dusty on the cover. We've got Operation Dragonfire with Duke on the cover. And we've got Operation Deathstone with Mutt Junkyard and uh, the Baroness and the Crimson Guardsman on the cover. These are great. I love the, the books themselves. I, I love the artwork on the covers. Uh, these should be a ton of fun. So thank you for these, and I will put these to good use as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much, Lazarus. Um, I am going to go to this one. Uh, this is from... This is from Canada. This is from uh, Captain Foley um, from Trek Yards. And um, I kind of... He, he told me that he was excited for me to uh, open this, and then I didn't get to it. Uh, because, geez. Um, anyway, let's see. Uh, oh, we've got some Trek Yards memorabilia here. And, ooh, okay. So, based on this, I, I definitely should have opened this sooner. So, my apologies to Trek Yards. I, I am terrible. But I'm getting to it right now. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Look at that. Um, uh, what we have here. What should I pull out first? Oh yeah, okay, now we've got some... Uh, here we go, let me pull this out. Some Star Trek, uh, these I, I assume are, are Trek Yards uh, pins uh, that will go perfectly with my, with my pins. Those are gorgeous. These are really nice. Uh, these are really nice. Um, and, uh, yes, this right here. Trek Yards t-shirt. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, and then some Trek Yard stickers, which he mentioned. Oh, yes. I, I, oh, and a pin that I can put on my patch. <laughs> I'm excuse me. That's nothing to sneeze at. Uh, I can put uh, on my passion pins shirt. Um, these are awesome. 
you got some nice merchandise here. I don't have merchandise this nice. This is some really good stuff here. What we have here, snacks. Um, Canadian snacks. Now, uh, let's see, these are all, yes, they're all sealed. Oh, hey, cool. Got like more track yard stuff. I've got to take the track yard stuff out because it, I don't want them to get messed up. I'm going to set them over here. Uh, really nice merchandise, I have to say. I, I need better merch. Uh, that's like, like all uh, reflective and stuff. That's cool. That's wicked awesome. Um, so what we have, there's more with, with your with your likenesses on it. Um, we have Canadian snacks, including some candy bars. So that means that right at this moment, I need to do a uh, a tasting. A tasting. Let's see. Um, we have Smarties. And my recollection is that these Smarties are nothing like Smarties that we have in the States. These, I think, are chocolate uh, candy with a, a candy coating, it's similar to our M&Ms, but let's see. But with different colors. Mm-hmm, yeah. I'm a fan of Smarties. Smarties are good. We've got Smarties. We've got two kinds of Arrow bars. This one is um, I think this is just chocolate. The the original, I guess. Let's just uh, tear into this here real quick. And uh, break off a little bite here. Mmm. Mmm. I approve of that. But then we also have peppermint. So let's see how pepperminty the peppermint is. Let's see. Here we go. Ooh, that is quite pepperminty. It's refreshing. It's kind of like an Andes mint. And we've got a coffee crisp. All right, let's uh, peel this open and try a coffee crisp. All right, ready? Oh, I like that. I think that one's my favorite so far. It's, um, the flavor is kind of subtle. All right, let's move on to, I had it upside down, but Lay's ketchup. Lay's ketchup. A flavor that I've not seen in the United States, so let's see what we got here. That is amazing. They very precisely caught and captured the ketchup flavor in chip form. I think I like them. It's kind of um, zingy. Very nice. Well done, Canada. I want this one. All dress. Looks like we've got salt and onion and bell pepper and, and ruffles. Let's try this out.
Let me one more. You know, that one's much more subtle. All right, one more. <clears throat> it says Canada's very own. Mm. You know, I could, honestly, I could eat a bag of both of these. And I will eat a bag of both of these. So uh, thank you, Mr. Captain Foley and Trek Yards. Really cool stuff. I love the t-shirt. I love all of this. Um, and I'm going to set these uh, chips bags aside because, um... oh yeah, I'm, I missed this. The card for Stuart Foley host, comma, creator, Trek Yards. Very nice, uh, nice, classy, classy. So thank you for that. I'm going to make sure I don't lose these. That was awesome. Now, I'm going to reach for this one because it's the closest. Oh, this is from Gil Tucker, another friend of the channel. So let's see what Gil has sent. He has written us a note here real quick. Oh, oh, well, um, so it says super late birthday gift and I'm super late opening it. So I apologize for that. But it says here what uh, he has included. All right, cool. Well, now that he's explained what it is, let me show you. Uh, let's see, this should be, oh yeah. So, you know there's this new 6-inch uh, G.I. Joe toy line out, uh, and you may also know that my favorite character in G.I. Joe is Stalker. Well, what Gil has done is make a custom 6-inch Stalker figure that is amazing. Really great camouflage on that. Um, that, that this looks like stalker if they if they were to do a an actual um, released six inch stalker it wouldn't be any better than that this looks exactly like like my buddy like my buddy stalker um, let me see if I can get it's always a little bit tricky to get uh, oh that worked <clears throat> I was gonna say it's uh, sometimes tricky to get um, weapons in the six inch figures hands but well, let me get it uh, a little bit better than that. Um, he's got his um, M16 with the scope. Uh, that was his weapon of choice uh, in the Vietnam era. So there you go. That is awesome, sir. Thank you so much, Gil. Uh, thank you for your work uh, in creating this. And yeah, <clears throat> just as, um, oh, there's a knife, sorry. Almost missed the knife. Um, is there a... Uh, let's see. I don't see where the knife goes, uh, but I can put him in his hand. There we go. Um, as I am going to display my 12-inch Cobra Commander custom with um, <clears throat> my 12-inch figures, I will <clears throat> display this with my 6-inch figures. So let's let's get him to... Here, we'll set that there. Get him to sit down. <clears throat> he and Cobra Commander are going to be buddies just for a minute. <clears throat> so thank you, Gil. That is really awesome. <clears throat> so, next I will go with this smaller one. It is from Michael Miller. And uh, let's see what we got. Uh, let's see, no, no letter with this one. But, uh, but a ton of accessories, um, scaled up, look like this looks like a, a scaled up translucent stalker, um, submachine gun. Yeah, check that out. So these have got to be customs as well. 
So that's the theme uh, is is customs and I if this is a yeah, I'm just checking to see if this is about the right scale. That's about the right scale for a six inch stalker. So uh, I'm gonna put that with stalker. Um, so these are like um, six inch scale um, weapons for the figures because if you've been following at all, um, the, uh, the six inch figures have not had um, their original accessories. What do you do in that situation? You make some, which it looks like that's what he's done here. Um, this is really awesome. Uh, to Michael, thank you. Um, yeah, that looks like uh, a, a jet pack that you could perhaps put on Duke or Stalker right here. That's so cool. So uh, again, I... With, We've got a theme here. It's a really awesome theme. It's a theme of uh, customs, and um, <clears throat> and I just love it. I I love the customs, but I also love the amount of work that you guys have put into these. Um, so thank you very much for that. Uh, I am going to grab this one because it is the next one closer. This is from uh, looks like Daniel, and. Daniel sends, I can see what it is, but let me quickly read this. Uh, thank you, Daniel. Let's see, let me show everyone what we got. We have Hall of Fame Snake Eyes. Hall of Fame Snake Eyes. Um, this is, this Hall of Fame Snake Eyes figure 12 inch, like uh, Cobra Commander here. Uh, this is based on Snake Eyes version four, uh, which I reviewed recently. And it looks like it's got all of his accessories and his stand here. So that's awesome. Um, I had uh, an incomplete one. Um, but this appears to have everything, including his big, chunky uh, Uzi. Let's see. Yeah, um, the, the battery doesn't work. This is a sound-making gun. Um, but if I'm not mistaken... They did not leave you a way or give you a way to replace the batteries in this thing. So once the battery ran out in <clears throat> in the 1990s, uh, it's just uh, you just don't get the sound making gimmick again. Uh, but uh, that's awesome. Got uh, got a, a dog tag figure stand here, and of course we have. Uh, his dog tags, which I'm going to see if I can just put, yeah, his dog tags, which is a, uh, a symbol of quality. Um, so uh, he's going to be friends with 12-inch uh, uh, Cobra Commander here. That's a wicked awesome sword. The sword is like gigantic. Um, so thank you very much for that. Uh, I'm going to keep these together. And I'm going to move on to this box here. Um, and this, I believe, is from our friends uh, Painted Plastic from YouTube. And, and let's see what Painted Plastic has sent. Uh, let's see. First, let's see. Is there a... Okay, that's all packing. Um, oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, look! Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. From Cobra Convergence, right there it is. The shock and awe. The custom that Painted Plastic made for Cobra Convergence 5. There is the actual thing. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, continuing our theme of customs... And there's the driver. I'm just going to set him up a little bit there. Um, with file cards. With file cards. That's so great. Uh, this is gorgeous. Um, I love the, the custom when I saw it uh, for Cobra Convergence 5. Uh, and it's just more impressive in hand. Uh, Painted Plastic does some amazing custom vehicles. 
And that's not something you see as often. Um, you get a lot of uh, custom figures, as you've seen here. Custom vehicles uh, are not done quite as often. So uh, it's just awesome to see somebody uh, tackle that task and produce something as cool as the shock and awe. So thank you. And there is another box here that says on the box what it is. It says Defiant Wheels. This is great. I'm still trying to put together the Defiant. Um, as some of you may know, I'll go, I'll go ahead and cut the tape here. You may or may not know, but the U.S. Um, the, the G.I. Joe Defiant uh, Space Complex has a design flaw in that it, it's uh, the, the complex itself, the crawler, the gantry, all of that, it's too heavy for the plastic wheels that it comes with, and it often has wheels broken. Um, but right there, yeah, check that out. We have some defiant wheels. That is awesome. So this will help me. This will help me uh, get the Defiant into shape so I can eventually review it. I was really hoping to review it as the first video of the year for 2021, um, but um, it's really difficult to, uh, to complete that. Um, so that helps me a great deal. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Painted Plastic. Um, for the custom and for the Defiant wheels and for just all that you do. You have a great channel. Make sure you check out um, uh, Painted Plastics channel on YouTube. Uh, and that brings us to the last one, the biggest one. This is from, uh, it should say on here, Screamin' Eamon Productions. Yes, Screamin' Eamon Productions. And I think, given what uh, Screamin' Eamon Productions has been working on. I think I know what we've got here. Uh, let's just pop that open. Yes. 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 So, um, I showed you um, a little while back the uh, replica uh, Cobra Viper Glider that Screamin' Eamon Productions produced. Well, this is the companion piece I can get the carefully move that. They have now made. Uh, let's see here. I can get it. I can get it. It's 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 packed properly. It's packed very well. Um, the companion piece, the GI Joe Falcon glider, and um, this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this in the box. I did open the uh, Cobra Viper Glider, but um, this one I feel like she, she, she's going to stay sealed. This is just, uh, the box is amazing. And um, it says 2HCC788, one of one. Uh, this is a replica. Um, it is designed as a replica. Um, it has significant differences from the original, so you can tell it apart from the original. Um, this does not include an action figure, and the original did include an action figure. It included Grunt version 2, the tan Grunt. Um, it's got his picture on there, but uh, no window pane for the action figure. And each of the parts are also distinguishable from the original, so you can tell this apart from an original one. So for a reproduction, for me, that's important that it is distinguishable from the original, so nobody gets those mixed up and thinks that they're getting uh, getting uh, the vintage version when in fact they're getting a reproduction. Well, they've thought of that, and they've done this, in my view, properly, um, and I think that that's awesome. So uh, thank you, Eric Eamon and Screamin' Eamon Productions for this. And thank all of you. Um, uh, this is so much, and it's so overwhelming, and it's not just the stuff. I mean, 
I, I appreciate you taking the time to send things to me, but these are a lot of things that you've created or things that are important to you, and that just makes them more special. So thank you. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Uh, I apologize for taking so long to open these, uh, but thank you for being here with me while I open these up and check them out. Um, and that is all for now. I want to... Um, I want to let everyone go. I'm going to open the the letters and read those now. Um, but um, we're going to get back to normal. We will make it. We will make it back to my normal routine. Um, it's just going to take a little while. But uh, I miss you guys. Um, joining you once a week and talking about G.I. Joe was a very important part of my life. And that's not something that is easy for me to give up. So um, it's very important to me to get back to that and I promise I will as soon as I possibly can. But that's all for now. Um, I will uh, join you again as soon as I possibly can with a vintage G.I. Joe toy review. Until then, please remember only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.